Happy Hobby, I'm Dave Gunnison. Today we're kind of doing a mishmash of a few different things, but specifically I want to just do another video to refresh in everyone's memory that I'm doing a giveaway April 27th, 9 p.m., a YouTube Live video. My first, very first YouTube Live video. It's going to be an awesome giveaway. The fine people at cardlines.com sent me a card lines mystery box card lines crate they call it uh which are available for purchase for everyone uh they have baseball football basketball we got a basketball one because i'm celebrating the nba playoffs the nba playoffs are going on so far they've been fantastic very exciting sacramento kings are uh, a super fun team to watch so i thought uh, i want to refresh that put a new video out there today so that it's it's in people's faces once more some other things were so we're giving that away to one group. We're gonna open that up, go through all the packs while we're talking and and doing the YouTube live. I'm gonna try and have a guest on. I'm not sure who yet. Maybe more multiple guests. I'd like to get somebody that's basketball related. Like it seems like a lot of the YouTube friends that we have are you know Wax Pack Dad. I think he does some, but he's mostly like football and baseball. Um, I love baseball cards. Phil is awesome, but again, he does mostly like vintage baseball. I'd like to find somebody that. Uh, can have a little NBA discussion with us and, and help answer some questions that you guys might have about basketball cards. So I'm going to work on that and see what I can do. Uh, but some of the other giveaways, that's not all we're giving away. That's just to one person. At the end, we're going to do a wheel of names. During the entire video, we're going to be doing sports trivia and sports card trivia and all sorts of stuff. It's going to be fun. If you say something funny and clever, I might just give you, might just be a giveaway just for you. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I'm also going to open up two packs of 1991 Flair, two packs of 1991-92 Upper Deck, the inaugural season. There's Jordans aplenty in these packs. I can feel it. I'm also going to give away two Kareem Abdul-Jabbar cards. One is a Lou Al Cinder card, but they're both the same guy. Uh, but these they're both also creased. They're vintage, awesome, and damaged. But they're still cool to have in your collection. So I'm going to give those away singularly to different people. I also thought, you know what? What about the junk wax period? What about the mid-90s? I think I'm going to go through my cards and find some really awesome cards that I can give away there. Like an Alonzo Mourning. He's pretty awesome. I'd like to make sure uh, somebody gets their hands on this rookie card. And how about a more recent, like a Jalen Green? Uh, the NBA, you know, this is his rookie card. He's now going to be entering his third season next year, if you can believe that. I'm going to give this away also. He's been awesome. A lot high scoring. Uh, lots of excitement around that guy. Just if the Houston can get it together. New coach, maybe they can do it. Another thing I wanted to announce, so this is kind of like an announcement video and a discussion on collecting in general. But another thing I want to announce is I now have the ability to put movie clips into my videos. Finally. Do you know what that's going to mean? Do you know what that means to me? That's a big deal. I'm a, bit, I'm a little excited about that. This is like, this is this is unbelievable. Because uh, my brain works in videos and music lyrics and random stuff like that. So that should be a lot of fun. Cat, Jing, G, cat, where are you? <laughs> but uh, today, something I wanted to talk about first is how do you collect? How do you collect your cards? I want to know in the comments, like, what's your plan of action? So my game plan is you see my my three uh, 36 card displays up there. Those are my basically my main collection. Those are the cards that I uh, really try to work around. So what it is is each of these three. You've seen my dandy dozen videos, and each of three these three displays. One is baseball. This one's football, and that one's basketball. Each one has multiple eras within it and as i mentioned the dandy dozen i talk about like the 12 best players from this era in this sport to collect and then i do it for each sport and i do it in three different eras the modern the millennial which is more recent and of course the vintage which is the oldest so what i do is when i get a card uh from that era i'll that i like a card i love and i, and I either buy it graded or i get it graded then it should uh, replace one of those cards in there. It could be a card of that same player, but it's in a better condition, like a better grade, or 
it's an earlier card than the one I have. Like there's a bunch, like I have a lot of, you can see up there a lot of 1972 right there. And then right there is the 1986, this is basketball, um, 1988 down here. So a lot of them aren't necessarily rookie cards, especially in the 72s. Like I have a Will Chamberlain there. It's definitely not his rookie card. I have a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's not his rookie card. I'm sorry, son, but you must have me confused with someone else. But eventually, say I do get their rookie cards or an earlier card, get it graded, put it in there, and that's going to replace the one that I do have in there. Although I love the 72 set, I may not try to get a better Chamberlain or a better uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar unless I come across a great deal. And if I do that, then that's a different case. But for the most part, it's I, I get the cards that I love. And the 72 set, I love. Uh, and we're going to go through some cards that I plan on sending to SGC. And there's a 72 NBA Tops in here that I'm pretty excited about. And it's a rookie card that I'm excited to send into SGC to get graded. For the most part, when I buy singles, I'm trying to buy something that I plan to get graded. Or I buy something graded that I know is going to go in here. Or it's going to be something that I'm going to hold on for a little bit and sell at a optimal moment. And we'll talk about that in a second. But at any rate, so now I wanted to go through, uh, I'm going to switch this out and go through some cards I plan to send into SGC. And then uh, we can talk a little bit about those and uh, a little bit more at the end. So let's get into it. Okay, so you see me down here. So let's talk about these cards. So none of these are like groundbreaking, amazing cards. This is a yellow, uh, not hyper, yeah, I think hyper, no, velocity. The yellow velocity prism, I believe. Um, I got this in a in a what they call a repack uh, through Onwis Cards and Breaks. They sold the repack and it had a bunch of different cards. And this was one of the coolest ones. And this this also came with it. Jordan Love, uh, Donruss Optic. So obviously with Aaron Rodgers, hopefully moving along. Um, I'm hoping to get I'm gonna get both of these graded, and I'm probably gonna hold on to this one, and then sell this one uh right before the season starts is my plan he wants to make money all right so those two um this george gervin this is george gervin's rookie card the ice man uh, i'm down here now in central texas so i gotta root for somebody the spurs are on the bottom so i, I think i'm gonna be rooting for some spurs the mavericks with uh, obviously root for uh luca is fun and i'll be rooting for him I'd love for the Spurs to get Wembenyama. That'd be pretty amazing. Uh, that little thing in there is in the um, plastic. It's not on the card. But it's nice centering. The corners are a little soft. So I'm not expecting anything amazing on the grade. Maybe five that I've hoped for here. So we'll see. This is, of course, the Mickey Mouse um, Disney Kakawao uh, set that I've opened a couple boxes on here. Or I've done a break and then I open a box on here. Um, but I love these cards. They're absolutely gorgeous cards, and SGC does the grading on them, so I'm excited about that. Uh, we look for an article on The Athletic about these cards at some point. So this is not the silver, though. The silver is like 200 bucks. So this is um, one I won in a break on, on Wiscards. And once again, Emmett Smith rookie card. I don't have, I have an Emmett Bowman up behind me up here, a Bowman gold foil, but it's not his rookie card. So I went ahead to get the Tops traded from 1989. Uh, yeah, 1989 set, I believe. Uh, to get that baby grade. I'm a Gators fan, so it was a big deal when uh, he came out and uh, got drafted by the Cowboys. That was a big deal. Larry Bird, this is his first. Now, it's not his rookie card. It's his first solo card, though. Um, I do have his rookie card. You know that card as the, it's the tri the three-player card with Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and Julius Irving. It's Magic and Larry's first. It's their rookie card. Um, but I also bought the solo card for uh, Magic Johnson. So I got that already slabbed in SGC. I already have Kevin McHale slabbed in SGC, his rookie card in this set also. So I'm going to get this one um, graded as well. And again, I'm hoping for a five on this one. The center is a little bottom left, but uh, it's a really nice looking card. The corners are great on it, so I'm hoping for a five, maybe a six. I'm hoping for a five. Swish! Larry Bird! Yeah. 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 Let's 
Jets. So this is the 1972 edition I was talking about. 1972 rookie Phil Jackson card. Uh, again, open for a five. You see it's it's offset bottom. Um, the left to right is a little bit to the left, but it's definitely um, off center from the top to the bottom. But that's going to look great with the other 1972 cards I have, Pete Maravich, and um, I've got a few up there, Jerry West, Will Chamberlain, and I just love the colored backgrounds to me are just amazing. So they look really good all together like that. Pete Maravich, I think his is pink in the background. Just looks awesome. So I'm excited to get this one graded. And then, oh yeah, look at this. So this is what comes in the NBA Hoops. It's called the NBA Hoops Teal Explosion. And it's a Jason Tatum. It's a cool card. It's not, it's, a, it's not a numbered card, but it's a very cool card. And I love that the teal with the green is kind of a really cool uh, colored card. Um, so I'm not sending the, this into SGC to get graded. But instead, I'm sending it to one of you because uh, you stuck around to the end of this video. So you do a hashtag, let's say a hashtag giveaway in the comments below. Tell me how you collect. Tell me something about how you collect. And you, you better be subscribed to the channel. But um, um, during the giveaway, I'm going to do uh, uh, the drawing for everybody that did the uh, hashtag giveaway for this card and I'll send this card out to you. It's a really cool looking It's not super expensive or anything like that But it's a really cool looking card that will look very nice in your collection So make sure you hashtag giveaway remember April 27th 9 p.m. Eastern Thursday night make sure you be there for my very first YouTube live. I'm very excited about it Whatever you do make sure you have a happy hobby. Do you realize this will never end? It's already done